Good afternoon, my YouTube family. Uh, Happy New Year's to everyone. I know I've been uh, MIA, but you know, the holidays bring a lot of things that you didn't factor in and uh, family, friends, cooking, you know, etc. Just enjoying yourself. But I just wanted to just do a little random chit chat today. Um, I'm kind of scatterbrained. I uh, really want to talk about a lot of things, but uh, mainly I want to talk about some issues with um, starting a new year and trying to incorporate um, a new hair regime, so to speak. You know, uh, the things that I did last year, some were good, some were not, and some were just nothing. I got no wow factor, you know, or my hair never said nay or yay, whether it liked it or not. Um, especially right now, speaking about coconut oil, pre-pooing my hair with coconut oil. And I did it for an entire year. And um, I know there was a lot of YouTubers who said that they did not like coconut oil. Some even said they hated it, but uh, some of the YouTubers that I follow and I respect and honor a lot, um, they were saying that they really liked it and that was the only way and the proper way to, um, you know, to pre-pull your hair, excuse me. So anyway, it's funny as I sit here at the beginning of the year thinking about a lot of new beginnings. I thought like I never got a wow factor from using coconut oil so anyway to make it short um, I decided to try to pre poo my hair with conditioner and I'm not saying I'm gonna do it the whole year I'm just checking it out right now um, I have stuck in my head the definition of insanity is when you uh, you know keep doing the same things and expecting a different result so I'm just kind of venturing out into uncharted waters right now and it's very interesting because so far I have been absolutely blown off my chair okay I pre pooed my hair with conditioner and let me tell you something OMG First of all, the experience was so pleasant. Um, it took far, far less time. Detangling was amazing. And far, far less shedding. And when I washed my hair afterwards, there was no difference. Matter of fact, there was a difference. It was less shedding in, in my tub. And I have a hair catcher in the bottom of my tub, which will tell me, you know. And my hair felt amazing, you know, because I didn't apply so much stress on it. I mean, when I pre pooed with coconut oil, I always, you know, spritz my hair with warm water to open the cuticles and then apply the coconut oil on it. But the coconut oil has so many down, um, so many cons for me because, first of all, um, doing it overnight was not an option for me. I absolutely hated it. No matter how many things I tied on my head, plastic bags, scarves, headbands, the oil would still manage to leak out, get on my bed pillows and stuff like that. And it would annoy me you know, when it's running down the back of my neck, behind my ears. Um, every time I moved throughout the night, the plastic bag would crinkle or crunch and that would disturb my sleep. So that was definitely not an option. So then I would pre pull the day of my wash day, which would take me so much longer, you know, and I would get the same results, you know, from, I would get so much more shedding you know, first of all, it took me a great amount of time to, because I got 4C hair to the hundredth power, okay? When I talk about 4C hair, yeah, that's mine, okay? So, anyway, um, and then also once I washed it, and I always use a moisturizing wash, um, shampoo, 
occasionally if I feel I have a, a really bad buildup, which I very rarely, you know, get because I do my hair every week. So um, buildup is not really an issue. So I don't feel a need for a clarifying um, shampoo. So anyway, um, yeah, that, that has been uh, kind of like a eye opener for me and I've only done it once so far but I am planning on to continuing to see you know if there's a big difference and I'm really liking the the time um, the um, the strain on my hair detangling it and yeah I pretty much loved it and my hair pretty much loved it you know so um, I've also decided to try the L-O-C-O -O method this this year. And again, I'm not saying I'm going to do all this for the whole year. I'm just saying this is what I'm starting out with to see, you know, if it makes a difference. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing the liquid, the oil, the cream, and then the oil again. Um, my hair likes oil and um, it likes my cream and... I'm still using the same uh, cream that I've been using for the entire time that I've gone natural, and that is uh, Eden Body Works um, Defining Curl Cream, and I absolutely love it. She has a whole new line of products out, and I haven't even been able to make myself buy it because I just am so in love, and you know how they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So anyway, um, <clears throat> those are just a few things that... I've been trying to to do to see if it makes any difference right now as you can clearly see I do need a rinse but I'm trying to narrow down on the rinses that I apply in my hair um, also like from twice a month to um, once a month because I know it is even though it's a rinse I still know it's a chemical but I'm pretty vain right now. I just don't want to look my age and so the gray hairs like right now I think my gray hairs are flattering. They're they're not overwhelming. But if I was to let this continue, yeah, I would look like a totally different person. So they say wisdom, I say worration. Potato, potato, <laughs> whatever. But um yeah. <clears throat> But other than that, uh, the new year has started off really, really nice. Um, I'm just immersing myself in the Word of God and trying to be obedient to His Word. And I'm feeling really, really good. You know, even though Satan continuously tries to attack my mind, you know, I am standing, I am standing fast on God's Word. And, uh... Yeah, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, <laughs> you know. I'm looking forward to what the new year is going to bring. I'm thinking positive. I am just ridiculously refusing to think negative thoughts anymore because I truly, truly believe what we think and what we say is what we attract. Now, that's just me. No one else has to, you know, believe in this. But I am a firm believer of attracting positivity. I tell myself every day I am loved. I am valued. I mean something. God put something in me that matters. You know, and everyone should be telling themselves this because the forces of this world, the evilness of this world is so overwhelming. If you're not rooted in something, mainly the God, the word of God, your chances of survival and surviving out here are so, they're so less, you know, but I'm not here to preach to anyone. I'm telling you what I believe and how I feel and what I think and it's just for me and me only. If you agree, that's great. If you don't, I respect you for that, okay? But um, yeah, other than that, uh, you know, like everyone else, I am also trying to lose some weight. I have a uh, checkup with my primary physician on the 22nd of this month and after Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, I have really, really wailed out, girl. 
okay I went off the rail okay so but the good news is by following my dietitian's advice of eating a carb and a protein with every meal including snacks I have not gained back any of the weight that I, I weighed when I had my hip replacement and so um, I'm really really sticking to that I had planned on going back to my intermittent fasting but eh, I'm kind of doing it the Sadie way you know the sweet Sadie way so I'm not really really sticking to that 16 18 hours you know I'm basically focusing on eating healthy foods oatmeal for breakfast salad for lunch and then a, a nice um, spaghetti or you know something um, a carb and a protein and a little vegetable if I need it but um, because I have been doing that carb and um, protein with every meal including my snacks like a little handful of nuts and some craisins you know I really have felt a difference first of all I don't feel as bloated second of all I have not regained any of the weight that I um, had when I weighed in when I had my hip replacement and as of now since I started the first of the year I've already dropped five pounds so I am seeing a difference I also did start to walk outside um, I'm trying to start slowly for like three days a week, 30 minutes a day, then work it up, for do that for a month, and then after that month, add another day, another 30 minutes, until I work myself back up into five days a week, 30 minutes or more a day, which is what I used to do before my hip went out and I didn't have diabetes and of course when you get diabetes then you get high blood pressure and high cholesterol and all these things can be erased out of your life if you get on a good healthy eating regime and honor your body like it it's instructed in the Bible okay our bodies are our temples and they belong to God not to ourselves but I digress anyway um yeah, so I started the walking, and the only reason why I'm not on a walk right now is because it's raining out, and I had just eaten, and I had to wait for my food to digest so I don't get out there and get cramps or anything, so um, I decided to come on and say hello to everyone. But um, other than that, <clears throat> things are, like I said, they're looking good, and I'm feeling good. I went to Bible study last night for the first time this year. It felt so good to be back in the house of the Lord and just to be immersed in his word again, you know, and um, I do a lot of reading and uh, I'm crafting now, mostly um, journaling, you know, with washi tape and stickers and, and I like that and it, it's very, very relaxing. But um, the best thing for me, mind-wise, is my walking. And when I walk and I have my uh, playlist of music on, it, it just takes me to another... Uh, it releases endorphins that, um, you know, just seemingly just, excuse me, just seemingly just make me so much more at peace and um yeah they just make me feel so much better so i encourage anyone if you can't do anything physical most of us can at least walk now i gotta be careful with that because i used to say that all the time and then i became incapacitated to the point where i couldn't even walk so uh -huh, yeah i'm watching my words but yeah if you can do if you cannot do anything else you can at least get out and walk you know and it's such a great stress relief you know and you're heightening your you're revving up your metabolism to burn calories after you eat and this goes on for hours after you finish walking if you not do a nice brisk walk of at least 30 minutes a day and you don't have to do the 30 minutes all at one time you can do 15 minutes in the morning and do 15 minutes in the afternoon 
you know either way you can work it out or just go up to your gym and walk on the treadmill for a few minutes I'm very bored with gyms I don't like stationary stuff I like to get out outside walk up hills down hills be outside breathing fresh air so but if you know if I have to I could go to our gym here at our complex but I, I really don't care for indoor workouts so but anyway I just wanted to say hello to everyone and just give you an update on what's been going on in my life things are looking good I'm expecting great things to happen to me this year um, I don't see my orthopedics for my hip uh, again in another six months so that's great and uh, yeah everybody just stay prayed up and uh, do what you can you know God has given all of us you know our portions of gifts just stay in your lane and do you. Don't worry about what everybody else is saying and the naysayers because believe me, you know, as soon as you try to do something, there's going to be oh, so much, you know, Satan's going to attack you, you know, so stay strong. I love you all. I hope to be on here much sooner and uh, as I'm trying to uh, get my New Year's in order. I'm trying to come up with how many days I want to do this. I'm still trying to learn how to do all this. I'm not very good at editing or I'm learning how to do that. And I am currently still unemployed. So um, I don't have the resources right now to like, you know, subscribe to Pick Monkey and stuff like that that would help me, you know. Uh, enhance my page but give me time and give God time he's gonna work it all out but I love you guys take care bye bye